What up, people? This is Baped, and I'm bringing you another game of NCAA Football 12 for PlayStation 3. So, I've finally finished my high school career. I got offered several scholarships, but I went with my favorite team, the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, I got... I basically started off as a fourth stringer, and as fourth and third strings, you don't get any playing time, so... Basically, how NCAA works is... Once you select your school and you're put on the roster, you have to practice in order to gain coaches, um, coaches' trust. And the coaches' trust basically allows you to move up positions. And once you start playing, you can earn coaches' trust in games, but being third and fourth string, you have to earn all of your coaches' trust through practice. Uh, and also within practice, you also earn experience points which you use to make your player better. So, um, <clears throat> I explain a little bit more about this uh, in another video that I th have sent to Machinima Sports. Also, I've thrown up a couple other videos to them. Uh, so, if you want to see some of my other videos of this, they will be on Machinima Sports in the next few days. Uh, I'll be sure to post a bulletin and make it a favorite and all that so you guys can check them out if you're interested in this game. Um, so far, my impressions of this game, I like it quite a bit. Um, kind of getting bored of uh, playing running back. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty tedious, but uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to finish at least this season. Uh, I definitely want to make a quarterback as well. Um, and I think when I make the quarterback, what I want to try to do is... Um, Obviously, I'm going to be able to go to pretty much wherever I want. But what I think I might do is join, like, a uh, lower-level team, like one that's not ranked and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, maybe it'll be a little more interesting if I'm playing on a, a bad team and try to see if I can make them winners. Uh, I think that might be fun. Uh, I might also try a defensive position, try to do a little road to the show. <laughs> road to the show. I keep saying road to the show. I'm so used to doing my MLB games. Road to Glory, uh, I think I might try to be like a safety or a cornerback or something like that. It might be fun. So uh, let me know what you think of this game. If you're, uh, if anybody of you, any of you picked this game up. Uh, I played with a subscriber the other night. I can't remember his YouTube name, but when I uh, post the video, I'll put a link in the description on, on the screen now. And it was actually my first ever game on this uh, playing like a normal football game. <laughs> I've only done Road to Glory so far, so he uh, beat me 17-14, to 14, I think. It was a back-and-forth game. It took me until the second half to finally get going on offense. Um, and, of course, my quarterback got injured in the first half, so I was playing with a second-string quarterback the whole second half. But uh, it was a good game. Um finally started figuring out all the stuff at the end. Uh, I still couldn't figure out how to do motions. <laughs> I need to play a little bit more before I start doing the whole online thing. Um, kind of interested to see the online dynasty too. That kind of looks like an interesting little thing. Kind of earn points uh, against other people. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Um, what I'm hoping is like uh, FIVA, the FIVA game where you can join a game as a position and like all the positions are played by people online I think that might be pretty sweet if we could do something like that but I haven't really looked too much into that kind of stuff I've been just focusing on Road to Glory so far um, and the more I play this man the more the graphics are just amazing uh, it's been a long while since I played NCAA 11 so I don't know exactly how much better they look on here but I don't remember a football game ever looking as good as this game does. Um, some of the integration, the cutscenes are uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> and you notice right off the bat, too, the tackling is so much better now that uh, it's a little easier to break tackles. And um, some of the gang tackles and stuff like that are, are pretty awesome to watch. Uh, it's, it's definitely a big improvement over over the other games and you can tell right off like I said right off the bat of how different they are um, control wise seems like any other football game uh, some of the running's kinda unrealistic the way you can just cut back and forth um, 
half the time when I run my long runs, I don't use any juke moves or spin moves or anything like that. I just hold down R2 for sprint and then uh, just kind of cut back and forth trying to avoid tacklers. Um, I think the more I play, the more I'm going to start using that right analog stick a little bit more, but right now it's kind of tedious to do that uh, and don't see the benefits as much as I would um, running how I am now, but I'm running like rushing like 150 yards a game, so I think I'm doing okay right now. Um, and if it keeps getting so easy, I think I might bump up the settings a little bit too. I think I'm just on the default settings, whatever they're at. Um, but I'm sure I can make it uh, harder. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so with the experience points, you use those to like buy upgrades, which is kind of a new little type feature. Before you would just get, um, you get your skill points or whatever, and then you could use those to upgrade whatever attribute you want. Uh, now you get experience points that you pull up, and then every week they have little packages you can buy. So like one package might be a speed package where you get plus two to speed and plus two to acceleration, something like that, and it'll cost you a certain amount of XP points. And then if you end up not buying that, um, then it's gone. Next week there'll be completely different things in there. And there's also a lot of uh, one game boost. So you can spend a little bit of experience points buy a l one game boost package that might boost you five or six points in a attribute but it's only good for that one game and then after that it's it's over so kinda cool like if you're going up against a really tough opponent or um, something like that but uh, for the most part the uh, attributes you buy that are lifetime boosts um, they cost like around four or five thousand XP. Some of them are even more. Like they have different levels based on like randomness, I guess. So like there's like level one through five or so. So if you get like a fifth level one, it's going to be a lot more XP to buy it, but it's also boosting you quite a bit more. So kind of a cool concept. And the more I use it, the more I'm going to uh, get used to it and figure that stuff out. But uh, as far as XP is concerned, I'm getting a decent amount when I play, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. I haven't really been able to not afford something, but there's a few times where there'll be like three or four things that are like four to 6,000 XP, and in a typical game in practice, you only get about 5,000 XP, so you certainly do want to save a little bit, but at the same time, you don't want to pass up something that is going to benefit your guy and... Uh, because, like I said, after that week's up and you go to the next week, you're not able to buy that package again until it comes back at whenever it does, if it even, even if it even ever does. Um, so, uh, so like I said, I really like this game. I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, I will get some more MLB stuff up pretty soon. Um, but this is the end of this game. I think we're 6 or 7-0, and oh, Michigan, which... <laughs> Probably won't happen in real life, but we can all hope. <laughs> so check out my uh, my um, highlights and all that kind of stuff, and I will catch you guys later. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this game. Peace out.